So today I'm going to show you guys how I made my Ahsoka headpiece out of fabric. I'm not 100% happy with this because there's a few things I could have fixed, like this part's too big. And then on the back side you can totally see my hair, so on the template I made for you guys I actually made it quite a bit bigger so it'll cover a little better, but um, this is what I've got for now, but I'll definitely be remaking mine later. So you want to start by laying down two layers of some stretchy fabric. Obviously white would be better, but yellow is what I had. And so then I drew out the basic shape on some paper. I do have this as a template you can download. And so then I just cut out the basic shape out of those two layers of fabric, and I pinned them so I could sew them all the way around except for in the middle. So you want to sew all the way around the outside and up both legs, leaving just the very underside open for stuffing. So here it is after I've sewn it. And then there's the little gap I left. It's not sewn, so you just pull it up through there to flip it right side out. So here it is right side out, and then you just want to take some stuffing, and you'll stuff both the leku and the montrals with it until they're nice and full. So here it is once I've got it all stuffed. The opening is still open, obviously. They make pretty good Montrose. Again, white would be better, but um, so here's you can see the stitch lines on the sides, but from far away you really barely even notice them. So then I cut the little football shape piece and I just hot glued that on the very bottom to hold in all the stuffing. And now you can obviously see the lines in that, but that'll get covered up by the brown piece that goes on later. So for the back leku, I made mine way too small. Again, you want to cut two layers. Um, in the template, I made this bigger because mine is definitely way too small. But you want to sew around, leaving a little bit open at the top. Just like that. And then flip it right side out. And then you'll stuff that as well. The one difference is, on this one, you don't want to stuff all the way to the top. You stuff the bottom and you leave the top pretty much flat so that it'll go around your head without sticking out at a funny angle. So you want to leave the top fairly empty. So then just lay that on the back side of the headpiece, figure out where it needs to sit, and then you'll just fold it up over, and you're just going to sew it from the underside down around the opening and a little ways down each of the side leku. So it'll hold it on nice and secure, and the sewing will be on the underside then, so it won't be seen from the front. You can just fold it down. That'll be held on nice and securely. So here's what I've got so far. And again, I made my back leku way too small, which is why you can still see all my hair. So I'll be redoing these at some point. But again, I made the template bigger. So since my fabric was yellow, I painted it with some white fabric paint that I had. So now these look much better, not they're white. And then I just added the blue stripes. I totally messed these up as well, as you can see. Um, I'm missing a couple of stripes, and I missed the little, like, feathery parts that stick out on them, so I'll be doing a better paint job when I remake these things, but this is what I've got for now. And then here are the stripes on the back leku. So then I took some brown distressed fabric, and the cool stuff about this is it looks like leather even though it's not. So I cut the piece shaped like she has in Rebels, with a little point on the top. And I glued that to the front. Mine's actually a lot bigger than hers, but I needed it to cover my head, so... Um, then I left the tails long, so I can tie those around my head later on. Uh, then I cut the diamond and triangle pieces out of some white cardboard. You use cardboard or craft foam, whatever you've got. And just hot glued those onto the front of that piece of fake leather. And so then those straps just come around and tie behind your head so it stays on nice and tight, so you don't worry about it flying off when you whip your head. I whip my laku back and forth, I whip my laku back and forth. And shout out to Kay, thank you very much for the generous PayPal tip, greatly appreciate it, may the force be with you.